Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I've got five tips to help you guys play the new Arabia. If you guys aren't familiar with the changes, I'll leave a link to the patch notes down below. But in a nutshell, they basically made the middle of Arabia much more open, pushing the tree lines to the side of the map. They made the golden stones that are spawned extra kind of relative to the position of the players to make them more fair. Your third gold is usually very far from your TC. Where can I find it? There it is, very, very far from my TC. Um, and you have hills closer to your TC that make the early game walling and early game aggression, uh, well, walling harder and aggression more rewarding. So I'm not sure those are the changes. I'm going to give you guys five tips to help you adapt to this new Arabia and play it until it's changed. Or if, you know, if this sticks, then we have a new Arabia that is more aggressive and we can all be play playing better if we use these five tips uh, that I have for you. So the first tip I have that I have after playing, you know, a few games on this new Arabia maybe a, a few dozen games, I, I should say, uh, is that you shouldn't aim to full wall every single game. Now, you have woodlands to the back, which means that you're always going to have some safe wood to take, but the front of your map is always going to be very open. I shouldn't say always, but usually going to be very open because there's not going to be wood to wall in the front. So I would recommend that you wall towards your TC if you can. As you can see, from this woodland to the TC, it's a much better distance than trying to go all the way around and try to secure all my map uh, that way. So just from the woodlands towards the TC is a really good habit. And also, you can easily just go with like a little woodland wall. Like if you take a lumber camp here, a few palaces around the lumber camp can keep those villagers safe. And walling and resources can be a really good approach to the early game as well. So first tip is instead of looking to full wall every game, look to just wall towards the TC uh, and maybe towards the edge of the map or simply just wall your resources in and secure yourself the early game that way. My second tip is to alter the strategies you usually go for. Now, Drush FC is still possible on some generations, but you really have to have a good map to be able to you know, go ahead with the Drush FC against a pretty competent opponent because usually players will punish that and go very aggressive if you're playing open and trying to go for a fast castle after a, a simple Drush. So Drush FC, while possible, I recommend to not rely on it too much and only do it when you have a good map. And instead, try strategies like Men at Arms uh, or Scouts that could help secure the early game and give you a little bit more presence on the map. So the third strategy is for the mid game. Now in the mid game, usually what happens is you try to take control of the hills, which is definitely still possible. But what my recommendation for the mid game is simply to get more vision and see if your opponent is gonna be coming to build on your big hills. In this case, I've got a hill here and a hill here. And you know, if you think about the standard game, if I build towards my TC and try to wall it that way, I might not know what's going on on these two massive hills. And it's very, very dangerous that they get some seed shop and start like manganelling my TC or taking out my buildings from a hill. So my best advice for the mid game is simply to get some vision on the key hills, not only in the middle of the map, but also the ones very close to TC. I should say more importantly, the ones very close to TC, because those are gonna be very, very important to secure. On the same coin though, uh, or the other side of the coin, I should say, um, you can also look for your opponent's hills and try to take advantage of those ones with forward siege. So this helps defensively and offensively. If you find a hill that's close to your opponent, try to take advantage of it in the mid game. And if you've got a hill, try to get some vision on it or at least some presence on it to not let your opponent get it for free. My fourth tip is more geared towards the late game. Now, if you take a look at the map and I'm zoomed out all the way, the middle is a barren wasteland. It's very hard to secure the map by walling the center. So the best thing for to do in late game is to get castles on the hill and secure the middle that way. But then the sides are very easy to wall because there's usually multiple woodlands on the side since you know we push the woodlands from the center onto the sides. So I highly recommend stonewalling the sides in late game and even like you know when you're on the way up to Imperial Age to prevent raidings from happening. And you can even uh, combine that with a wall down the center in some cases, you know, combined with a couple castles in the center to secure that middle position. Keep your army in the center, stonewall the sides, and that's a really good way to play late game. And it's pretty much always possible because of how many woodlands you have. Both players can definitely get away with walling the sides here. And it's very, very easy to accomplish, can be done almost every game in late game. And my fifth and final tip for you guys is to play aggressive. This new Arabia is much more open and it's much more rewarding to those who attack and get control of their opponent's base. I still think full walling and playing defensive has its place in this meta and with this new Arabia, but I think playing aggressive just rewards you more, much more these days. For a few reasons, you get to pressure the opponent and not let him take his third gold if you're in his face constantly. You have a lot of hills to take advantage of, uh, take advantage of that are much closer and in more strategic locations these days. And also, your opponent only has a few woodlands that he can rely on to wall his map and secure some safe wood. If you're playing aggressive and able to take away one or two of these woodlands, it can also hinder your opponent's wood production and development that way. So you have really a lot of options that you can get from playing aggressive, and that's kind of my last and final point. Be it a little bit vague, I think playing aggressive is, generally speaking, uh, going to be a better uh, approach on this Arabia and just give you more consistent results. 
So that's gonna be it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. It's not the most insightful video for sure, but it's just hopefully a couple tips that can help you on this new and much more open Arabia. That's gonna be it for me. Take care and I'll see you guys next time.